What's good? It's your boy YG, and welcome back to Apprentice to Free, where I'm here to show you my journey to financial freedom with a lot of mistakes on the way. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how I broke my AC condenser disconnect on the outside of my property, but then I fixed it. So I'm gonna show you the process on how I did that. But first, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Oh, I'll take that back. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So on a previous video, I was replacing some wood siding on my property. And during that process of replacing that siding, I kind of moved the disconnect because it wasn't secured to the wall. And I heard a poof, and then the condenser outside shut off. And I thought it was because of the little poof that I created. So I was like, well, I fucked that up. Came back the next day and I talked to the tenant. They said that they was messing with some wires, but the condenser was working. So I was like, all right, cool. So I uh, went back there and I wanted to see what was going on. So I, I don't have this recorded, but first I shut off the electricity, go into the condenser from the panel. I just turned that breaker off. And then I disconnected the house power to the disconnect box. And this is what we got. So yesterday I thought I blew a fuse because I heard a poof and it turned off. But uh, it was working when I came. So I disconnected the house power from the box. This is where the ends go and that's where the ground goes. So I'm gonna just anchor this onto the wall, reconnect the wires, put the breaker thing back in and uh, see what happens. So I wanted to mount the disconnect box to the wall so I didn't have this problem again. And so I didn't have the wires somehow touching the concrete foundation or the metal box. I wanted it to be set so nothing moved and we didn't have any issues ever again. So I marked the little holes where I wanted the screws to go in the disconnect box so that I could drill some holes into the concrete. Mounting this to the wall was to mark the three holes where I have to drill holes. You see those three little bracket spots? That's where it's gonna get screwed up against the wall. So in order to drill those holes into the wall, I just got a masonry bit, the bit that fit the size of the screw that I was gonna drill in there. And I use a regular drill. It's highly recommended that you use a hammer drill, which rotates and hammers in. Um, you're supposed to use that when you're like drilling into like concrete and stuff like that. But since I used a regular drill, I had to like really force it in there just to get a little bit of a hole it took a it took a little while but it worked um until i broke off about half of my masonry bit in order to drill the hole on concrete you need a masonry bit you got to make sure you have the right size based on the screws that you use so i got the right size masonry bit this is regular drill ideally you want to use a hammer drill with hammers and drills this just drill so it's going to take longer but let's get to it <sighs> drill the bottom hole drills half of the middle hole and my bit broke off in the top hole so what I'm gonna have to do is just put two nails in there instead of three I mean two screws instead of three and this screw is gonna be halfway sticking out but fuck I kept saying nail but you know that I meant screw obviously if you watch my videos you know I don't know how to talk don't judge me bro here's the bit that broke off compared to the nail it was like that long so that's how much broke off and is in the wall but whatever. So after I had those holes drilled, I mounted the disconnect box to the foundation of the property and we got this. It's mounted, it's not the tightest thing, it's a little loose because that screw is not all the way in, the middle screw, but the bottom screw is doing a pretty good job. So I'm gonna reconnect the wires and uh, start it up, see what's going on. After the disconnect box was mounted, I reconnected all the wires in the ground to where they were beforehand. I had taken a picture so I didn't mess up um, any of that. So I put them exactly back how they were and then I turned the power back on. After I turned the power back on, I went back to the outside of the property and I tested the voltage coming to the um, disconnect box and it was good. Put all the wires, put the ground where the ground was here put the white where the white was and the black where the black was and then the metal right here is touching I'm about to turn on the breaker hopefully uh, everything's connected correctly I'm gonna test the voltage and hopefully uh, this doesn't blow up AC 
on. Check the voltage, so got those touching. I don't think you can see it. It says 240 volts. That means power is going through it. Time to put the circuit back in the AC and see if it starts to turn on. But before the AC would turn on, there's on my disconnect, there's a little like fuse thing that you pull out. So you don't have to go to the fuse box to turn off the power. When you want to work in the AC, you can just pull this thing out and it'll stop power going from the house to the condenser. So in order for it to turn back on, you have to put it back in. So I put the little fuse thingy back in and I hoped that it didn't blow up in my face because then I would be dead. Because this is what connects the house power to the AC. So let's plug it in. Excuse me for my horrible cameraman skills. It's kind of hard to have one hand holding the camera and then using the other hand to try to do what you're trying to do. But at the end of that little clip, when you heard the that meant I put the fuse back in the disconnect and then the condenser turned on. So I fixed it. There's also um, like a face that goes inside the disconnect to hide the wires from when you open it up. So I had to pull the fuse back out, put that little protective plastic thing over the wires and then put the fuse back in because that's how uh, you protect the wires on the inside. So somebody just can't open the box and start fucking with shit. They would have to pull out the fuse which would automatically turn off the condenser. So I put that back in there, put the fuse back in there, close that disconnect box and I was good. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up so YouTube shares this video with more people. And with that, I'm out. Peace.